the shooter game market is full of ups and downs. The ups being the games that deserve praise, classics, and new releases. The downs are the generic copycats and washed out games that flood the market. And today, I'm gonna look at one of those games, Battleship. Based on the movie, based on the board game, really, at least, as a first person shooter. Yeah, that's right, first person shooter. Battleship. A bit of context for you people who live underneath a rock. The Battleship movie was released in 2012 to compete with Michael Bay Transformers. Ironically, Transformers is another Hasbro IP, but I digress. And of course, there was gonna be a big game made out of this because this was back when movie games still launched on consoles and weren't just mobile drivel. So, how does this game fare? I mean, this was towards the end of the 7th uh, generation console's life cycle. Well, let's get into it. Let's start off with the story. Things that every Sony pony out there will praise. Start the game in the Hawaiian Islands, diffusing World War II bombs for some reason. And then aliens land. And that's it. That's it. That's the gist of the story. You learn nothing about the universe. You won't even know where the hell the aliens are attacking in the first place. You won't know where the aliens come from. Or you won't even know who the heck they are. All you know is they're attacking and you gotta shoot at them. That's the gist of the plot. I mean, even the movie had a better plot than this. But I know what you must be wondering. How's the gameplay? Because that's what really matters. Well, gameplay is divided into two sections. A painfully average first person shooter, which is so generic and boring. It's like, ugh. There are better shooters out there. Don't waste your time with this. And then the other section is an RTS S game mode. By pressing the left shoulder button at any time you are transported into this game grid which is by the way the closest this game ever comes to actual battleship not that it matters in there you can control your ships fighting offshore and when you defeat enemies on land they drop cards and you can pick up these cards and use them to upgrade your ships with better armor better tax better everything even some let you take direct control of your vessel which sounds fun but it's not it's so underdeveloped and wasted you only go in there for like a few seconds to just mash buttons until it's done there that's it potential in this game wasted and the first person shooting sections like I said are the most generic and boring FPS you've ever played now, I've played some bad shooters. I've played Duke Nukem Forever, I've played Aliens, Colonial Marines, but I honestly prefer those over Battleship. Why? Because those ones, at least they tried, but they failed, but they tried. They tried to make something decent, and through a series of unfortunate events, it became bad. This game was bad from the get-go. Nothing in this game works. I mean, how do you make a first-person shooter with only five weapons and three different enemy types? The basic enemies all have the same weapon. And the sniper is bad at shooting, apparently. And the thug alien, you need a shotgun to take him down. It's the only weapon that can consistently de deal with him. Which means you gotta have a shotgun on you at all times, because you can only carry two weapons. And the most, and the strongest gun in the game against irregular infantry is the alien machine gun called the Craw. And it doesn't fare much better because it's so inaccurate. And it only gets more accurate the more you hold down the trigger button. It's the opposite of Weapon Bloom. Oh, this game. This game is so bad. The shooter came out in 2012. You know what else came out in 2012? Better shooters! Black Ops 2 and Halo 4. 
Now Halo 4 might be the black sheep of the Halo franchise, but at least it's better than this. And you know how much they launched this game at? Full price. 60 US dollars. Yes, when Halo 4 and Black Ops 2 come out, Battleship launches at 60 US dollars. It has the guts to say, I deserve this. It's a movie license game that's only four hours long if you're lucky. There's no multiplayer, there's no unlocks, there's no horde mode, there's nothing. You can't even play it with your friends. Not that they want to play it with you, but if you were five years old, maybe this is like baby's first shooter. And this is where I get to my final point. Us gamers aren't gonna buy this. I mean, I bought it for review, but the most of us would be like, eh, this game is probably too bad for me. It's a movie license game. And around this time, movie license games didn't have the best rep. Outside of Star Wars, maybe. So we're not gonna buy it. But you know who is gonna buy it? Moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, uncles, you know, people like that who don't know anything about gaming. And are like, oh, this looks like this looks neat. I'll buy this for my kid because it's not rated M. You get the point here? It's a cash in. This game is garbage. Anyways, guys, it's gonna do it for now. Um, this will this is my first real review. My next one will be whatever one you guys picked. So, uh, see you all in the next video. Good day.